Hi everyone, it's Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs and your host of Stamp TV, and I'm excited to welcome you to tonight's release party presentation. Tonight, I have four brand new stamp sets, three brand new background stamps, a new incentive set, and a brand new Stamp TV kit to show you. All of the products are now available at GinaKDesigns.com, so let's get started right away with the brand new stamp sets. And even though you can't see the front of me tonight, this is a live style video. I just haven't set up my front camera yet, but all of the overhead shots are live. The first stamp set in our brand new release that I want to show you is this fabulous stamp set by Melanie Menchinger called Men of Faith. Men of Faith is the sequel to her Women of Faith stamp set, which was one of our all-time best sellers. And you can mix and match the silhouette images so that you can create husband and wife cards, anniversary cards, wedding cards, or you can use this set for masculine cards. And if you look at all of the greetings that are available in this set to mix and match with occasions like birthday, graduation, anniversary, and then all of these other types of greetings in here like patient, faithful, strong, gentle, warrior. And then you have all of the father, boy, son, and then you can put grand in front of those, nephew, husband, brother, child, uncle, cousin. Um, you can add great in front of those. So there are just so many options in here for masculine cards. This one will be a must have set because you'll be able to use it over and over and over again. The next stamp set I want to show you is the brand new set by Teresa Momber called Rustic Autumn. And I just love this stamp set. Up here in Wisconsin, we have a beautiful autumn season, and this reminds me of going to the apple orchard and the pumpkin patch. We always have these beautiful barns that are all decorated for autumn, and you could decorate this one the same way. Our leaves are changing color, and Teresa gives you three different tree options and all kinds of leaves that you can add on there in different color combinations to create the look of an autumn landscape. She also has sunflowers and big pumpkins and beautiful autumn greetings. This set will also work throughout the entire autumn season and beyond because you can make thank you cards year round with it and leaves are always appropriate for masculine cards. Next up, we have this beautiful stamp set by Lisa Hetrick and look at the images in this set. I am just jazzed about this big slice of wood, which can be used for so many different things. But it's a beautiful backdrop for words and floral arrangements, and it almost takes place of a frame. Now this set is called Something Good, and you can see that you can mix and match the different greetings to create something good, life is good, good vibes, good friends, good luck, so many options in here. And you can see there are some of Lisa's beautiful florals that she watercolors and draws along with leaves and sprigs and these little types of details in here that you can add as little embellishments and little elements to your cards. I also really love this. And when you see some of the card projects that Lisa has with this stamp set, this is going to be another must have for you. This stamp set is by my daughter, Rena. Rena K has her first Rena K design stamp set, and this one is just genius. In fact, I'm a little mad at myself for not thinking of this one myself. She created the brand new Mandala Maker, and this works in your wreath builder templates. But it also works without the templates because you can build beautiful borders down the sides of your cards. You can use these as elements. You can freehand Mandala mandalas if you want because many of the images are nice and big and chunky but if you want that perfect circular mandala these images work great with the wreath builder and I also really love the greetings that she has in here so glad you're in my circle I'm in love with the shape of you which is perfect for Valentine's Day and you can use some of these wonky little heart patterns we fit together such a cute set for friendship, for love, for family. 
just a beautiful stamp set and I am so excited to use it and I can't wait to see all of the cards that the design team has and that Rena has up her sleeve. We have a brand new incentive stamp set this month, and this one is yours free with any $75 or more purchase at Gina K Designs. This one is called Perfect Blend, and it's the perfect little coffee set. It's got fun greetings like Life Happens, Coffee Helps. That's quite an encouraging st stamp right there. Less Monday, More Coffee. It's kind of cute. You can make some home decor with that. And wear the perfect blend. And then it has your hot coffee, which could also be tea if you're more of a tea drinker. Your iced coffees and lattes. And then it has your regular cup, which could contain coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. It also has these little coffee beans in there so you can create a fun little background. And again, this set is yours free with any $75 purchase at GinaKDesigns.com. You don't have to put it in your cart. It will automatically ship with your qualifying order. Before I introduce the brand new Stamp TV kit, I want to show you three new gorgeous background stamps that we have for you. Now these background stamps are made with high quality rubber and they are deeply etched so you get a great transfer of image to your cardstock. They're six by six so they'll work with a regular A2 card front or if you like to scrapbook six by six pages you can make your own decorative paper with this. They come on cling cushion, so they're ready to cling to your Misty if you like to use them for your Misty or with your Misty. But they also work really great if you just lay them down on their back. And I'm going to stamp each of these to show you what they look like because it's very hard for you to see what the red rubber looks like. So this one is called Elegant Script Background and I'm going to use a little bit of Tranquil Teal and I'm going to ink it up using the ink pad direct to the stamp. Okay. All right, and this might be upside down. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to actually use the piece of cardstock, the insert that came with this product, and I'm gonna stamp it right on there so that I have a picture of it as an index piece. So I'm laying a piece of cardstock on top. Actually, I'm laying a piece of cheap copy paper on top, and I'm just rubbing that all over this stamp to make sure I get good transfer of color. Okay, so now pull that off and you can see what that looks like. Look at that image, isn't that fabulous? So that is called Elegant Script, and that is a fun new background stamp that's great for the holidays. You can have this behind your Christmas cards, Hanukkah cards, um, all your winter cards. It's just a beautiful, elegant design. So I'm going to use my tidy towel to clean that. I love to use the tidy towel to clean the background stamps. So I'll just clean that all up. And then... I'm going to flip that over and I keep the piece of uh, paper that comes on these stamps and then I just replace it because that protects your cling cushion on the back. And then you can store that in with your index sheet into a stamp pocket or however you like to store your stamps. And then you can kind of get a look at it before you stamp it to make sure that is the one you want to use. So that's the first one. Now the second one I'm going to show you is called music medley and i really like this one because again this is a a great holiday stamp set but it also makes really elegant cards for all occasions music is great for wedding cards and anniversary cards and pretty much anything i mean music just makes us happy so why not add it to your cards and you can see how that nice red rubber grabs all of that ink and then I'm going to stamp that again on the piece of cardstock that comes in with the stamp set. Now it's not stamped perfectly, but I just really want it as an index just so I know what this actually looks like before I'm getting ready to use it. All right, so again, I have that piece of 
cardstock or pattern or copy paper on top and I'm just rubbing my hand all over the surface just to make sure that I have a good transfer and then you can see that design look at that can you see all that detail it's just perfect and you can see the Gina K Designs ink really transfers well so that's the music medley and once again I'm going to clean this stamp with my tidy towel and you can see it pools a little bit in there when it gets wet and then I just go back over it and blot it all up okay and then I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to put that protective paper back on there once again oops that wasn't very good okay once again to protect my cling cushion and I will store it with that little index sheet I just made. The last background stamp I want to show you, I love this one. This is called Delicate Snowflake. And you can see these are all cut um, with some sort of jigsaw by our manufacturer. And so they kind of cut around the design a little bit, but it's still a six by six. And I'm going to ink that one up the same way. I love these snowflakes. Will you see how delicate they are? They're just beautiful. And with all the winter season ahead and all of the Christmas cards, winter birthdays, all kinds of winter cards you're going to make, this is going to be one you're going to grab for quite a bit. And again, I'm going to use the insert that came with the stamp set and use the copy paper to transfer that image. I think it's easier to stamp backgrounds this way, but some of you may like to put this inside of your Misty, and that's fine. You just have to remember when you're using the cling cushion style stamps, the rubber stamps, that you remove the pad that's inside of the Misty because these stamps are thicker, and so the cling cushion makes up for the pad that's inside the Misty. So you won't need that when you're using your background stamps that way. Okay, and here is the beautiful delicate snowflakes. So those are our three brand new background stamps, the music medley, the elegant script, and the delicate snowflakes, now available at GinaKDesigns.com. It seems like it's been a while since we introduced a brand new Stamp TV kit, and I'm really excited about this one. This is called Fruit of the Season. And just like all of our Stamp TV kits, you get this great storage box to keep all of the components of your kit so that you can stamp along with me and the design team and make projects using this fabulous new kit. Now let's start off with the cardstock. So I'm gonna pull that out first put the box off to the side here so you get some fantastic cardstock with this you get three sheets of our red velvet three sheets of our jelly bean green three sheets of our layering weight white three sheets of our beautiful turquoise sea three sheets of prickly pear which I can't believe how much I've used this color in the kit so far. I really have been enjoying this color. Three sheets of black onyx, three sheets of our heavy base weight white, and three sheets of fresh asparagus. So you can have a fresh asparagus and red velvet Christmas card that's very traditional, or you can make it more fun with some jelly bean green and make it more graphic, or you can do more of a winter look with the turquoise sea. You can do some homespun feel with the prickly pear. So there's just so many options here. Now I want to show you the stamp sets that come in this kit. So I'm going to put this piece of white cardstock up and I'm going to lay these out. So the first stamp set here is called Sparkling Snowflake. And look at the size of, I have some blue on me from my background stamps. Look at the size of these stamps. That stamp is as big as my hand. These are huge snowflakes, fantastic, big, bold snowflakes that look great embossed in gold and silver and rose gold 
or white on craft cardstock. So many options with this. These are also big enough for all kinds of home decor projects and Christmas decorating, holiday decorating. And I want to read these greetings to you. We have the traditional let it snow. This is one of my favorite greetings. And we used to have this in a stamp set a long time ago, and that stamp set retired, and I still wanted to have it in our collection. Blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. Love that. And then, may peace, love, and joy be your gifts this season. And here's one I love for all winter long to send to my friends. If hugs were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. It also has this pretty little wisp design, which kind of gives the feeling of wind and cold weather. And you can also use that to separate the snowflake from the greeting as a pretty border, or you can mix it and match it with other stamp sets. So that's the first stamp set in this stamp TV kit. Now the second stamp set is called Fruit of the Season. And this one is awesome. It's got these big, bold, dense designs that really come out when you do painting techniques and things, which I'll show you with the poinsettia at some point. I have a video coming up with that. It's got some holly leaves. It's got a pine cone, pears, a set of two pears there, an apple, a bird. And then it's got this beautiful pine sprig that you can... Uh, use with the acorn. I'm sorry, not the acorn, <laughs> the pine cone. Did I say acorn? Pine cone. It also has this really neat leaf pattern here. And what I love about this stamp set is it's not necessarily a traditional Christmas set, although it certainly can be used for Christmas with the pine and the poinsettia and the pine cone and holly, but it's also a great set for the fall season too because it's got fruit. And it's got these fantastic readings. Let me read these to you. So this is a Bible verse, but the fruit of the, of the spirit is love. I, I love that. Um, wishing you a joyous Christmas. Here's a quote by Mother Teresa. Love is a fruit in season at all times and within reach of every hand. I think that's really sweet. And this one for gift giving, may no gift be too small to give or too simple to receive which is wrapped in thoughtfulness and tied with love. And then, and a partridge in a pear tree. And I thought you could mix the bird with the pears and add that greeting for a traditional fun Christmas card and use that music background to create a really fun card. So these are the stamp sets that come in the set. Now I have to show you the dies. You won't believe how big these dies are and how many you get. In fact, usually all of the dies in our kit will fit on one magnetic board. But this set was so big we needed to mix one big magnetic board and a half a magnetic board. So we just took one of the five by sevens and cut it in half and added a second magnetic board for the rest of these for you. Now all of our dies come on these magnetic boards when you buy the die sets and also in our kits we provide them too. But look at the size of these dies. I mean these things are huge. They're the size of my hand and I know I said that about the stamp but it's so true. And this is for the big poinsettia one. You can just see they're just giant dies. So you get dies for both sets. All of the snowflakes have dies. So one, two, three, four, five, six snowflakes. And then all of the images in here have dies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies for this set. So that is a huge amount of dies, the magnetic storage boards, two beautiful six by eight stamp sets, and 24 sheets of Gina K Designs Pure Luxury cardstock. So that's the brand new Fruit of the Season Stamp TV kit. And now that you've seen the kit, it's time to show you a project using this new Stamp TV kit. I had a really hard time deciding what to show you first because when I opened this new Stamp TV kit, I made six cards right off the bat and I love them all. I still have a million ideas. But I decided to use the Sparkling Snowflake set first and do a fun card that can be used for anybody, any occasion. It can be used all winter long. So I wanted to show you, I just store my stamp sets in these little pockets and then I have um, the name of the stamp set just printed out from a label maker. So I'm going to start this. Let me show you the tools and products you need. You need the stamp set from the kit and I'm also going to use some sea glass ink 
I'm going to use a Versamark pad. I'm going to use a black onyx ink pad. I also have a sponge dauber. I'm going to use my embossing magic pad and I like to keep mine in a little jar like this. I find that it's very convenient because it does get pretty powdery. You can see all that powder in there and this just keeps the dust out of my drawer. Then I also have my tidy towel and some assorted acrylic blocks and then I have a few um, uh, jars, a few little jars of the Gina K Designs fine detail white powder inside this glad container with a spoon. I tend to use the white and the clear a lot so I have those in these containers and it's a very convenient way to use your powder especially if you use it a lot. Okay so to begin my last version of this card, I did all the snowflakes first and then stamped the greeting last. And that wasn't a great idea because I, I ran out of room for the greeting. So I'm going to start by putting this, if hugs were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. I'm going to put that image down here in the bottom corner. And I'm going to try to line it up here with my acrylic block. Although if you prefer, you can use your misty stamping tool. So I'm going to ink that up with some black onyx ink. And I like to use my little ink cubes sometimes for these, especially if it's just a little greeting. Okay, so I've got that inked up and I'm gonna put that down here in this bottom corner. There we go, make sure that's all stamped well. If hugs were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. I love that. All right, so I'm gonna clean that off with my tidy towel and put that back on my stamp sheet. And now I'm going to choose some snowflakes. But before I do that, I wanna use my embossing magic pad all over the surface of this piece of cardstock because I'm going to do some embossing here and I don't want the embossing powder to stick anywhere except where I want it to stick. And that will remove all the static. It'll remove any oil from the surface of the card that may have transferred from my skin. All right, and I'm gonna start with the biggest snowflake. Look how big this thing is. And I'm gonna put it on this big round acrylic block. But you can use your Misty for this or you can use any acrylic block. I'm going to ink that up real well with Versamark. And this can be a little difficult to see. So sometimes I like to get a couple snowflakes on there, emboss those, and then I can see the shine. So then I, then I add more snowflakes. So I'm gonna put this one real big in the corner here like this. Get good pressure on it. Okay. Then I'm going to use this other big snowflake. And I'm going to do the same thing, ink that up with Versamark. I was playing so much with these the other night and I didn't clean the Versamark off, but you can always go back and do that later. And a little tip for cleaning Versamark off of your stamps, you can get an old toothbrush and a little Dawn dish detergent and scrub it right off. Okay, so I want to see where this last one is, see if I can see it on there. Oh, yep, there it is. So I'm going to add this big one right here in this top corner. And again, giving good pressure. And then I'm going to add one more snowflake down here. So I think I will use this one here and do the same thing. Versamark does take a little while to dry, so you've got a little wiggle room before you get the embossing powder on there. Okay, and I just want to take a look at this sideways again so I can see where I'm stamping. And I'll add that one right here, like that. Okay, now I'm going to add the powder and I can always go back and add more snowflakes after I've done the first ones if I feel like I need more. Let's turn that. So I'm using the white embossing powder. You could do this with clear if you wanted to. I think I might end up adding one more right over here in this section, but we'll see how it looks. 
Okay, and then I always keep a little paintbrush close by, so if I see any embossing powder in places that I don't want it, I can get rid of it quickly and easily. Okay, so now I'm going to heat that up with my Marvy heat tool. And I usually like to let that just run for a second or two just to get it started, get it a little hot before I start to uh, emboss. And that just prevents some warping. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit and I can start to see it get, it gets whiter. And if you're using the clear, it'll just get shinier. Okay. Oh, that snowflake is beautiful. I know it's really hard. I'm ooing and eyeing here, and you guys probably can barely see it if you can see it at all. But once I ink it up, you're going to see how pretty it is. Okay. Embossing is just one of the most fun techniques. Okay, I think I'm gonna, well, I, I usually like to do even numbers, but I do feel like it just needs a little something down here. So I'm gonna add this very small little snowflake. And I'm gonna just add one of those there. And you could always go back in with even a tinier snowflake and add one in there if you want that odd number but I'm gonna be okay with four snowflakes instead of three or five for this one. So let me add that powder on there. Okay. And then I'll emboss that. I think I'll be glad I added it. Okay, Ooh, this is pretty already. All right, so now the next step is going to be to get some ink, and I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Sea Glass ink, and then I also have a sponge dauber here. So I'm going to ink up the sponge dauber using some of that sea glass, and then I'm going to start right in the center of the snowflake and work my way out. So my darkest spot is going to be in the center and it's gonna get lighter as I go out. So I'm gonna start here. You can already see what's happening, right? Okay. And then in a circular motion, I'm gonna keep working my way out until I just have a mist of that blue right on the outer edge of that snowflake. See what that looks like. Oh, that's nice. Now, if you want to go a little darker, you can. I'm going to go back with a second coat just to pick up more of the lines of the snowflake. But again, you want to go really light along the outside. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this biggest snowflake over here. So, again, starting in the center. and working my way out. Now for these, because it's not a, a circular of a snowflake, it's got more diamonds. You can see on the design here, it's got these points that come out. I'm gonna do little circular patterns like this, little circular motion out to the edge of each of those as well. This way I'm not taking that blue too far out all over the cardstock so you can see what's happening. Okay. I love these it's like emerging snowflakes. All of a sudden they show they start to show up. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And now I'm gonna do this one down here at the bottom, same way, starting in the center and just delicately working my way out. And this little one off to the side here. That one didn't take much at all. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to grab a paper towel and just rub all over the surface. By doing this, you'll start to see the color 
the white come up a little bit brighter underneath. Okay, and I'll just remove all of that dust from my embossing magic pad and put the lid back on my ink. Okay, so now you can see how beautiful that pattern is. Just such a fun card. Now it's time to assemble the card and I'm going to mount this panel onto a black onyx panel. I'm using some of the new Gina K Designs sticky dot runner, the dot adhesive runner. Probably said that backwards. I think it's an adhesive dot runner, but you get the idea. Okay, and then this whole panel is gonna go on top of a white card base. So I'll put that on now. And there's my finished card. Quick and easy and so pretty for all, all winter long. Now I want to show you um, another card that I made using the same technique. This is the one that I made where I didn't leave room for the greeting, so I slipped Let It Snow in there. But I wanted to show you the embellishments. I used these little metal embellishments. These are by Mark Richards, I believe, but you can find any kind of little rhinestone or pearl or even your Nouveau Crystal Drops or Our Crystalline Drops and embellish the center of your snowflakes that way. So that's a fun little snowflake card. Now I'm going to give you a couple sneak peeks of some other cards that I made using this kit. And some of these are going to be in upcoming videos. Here is a snowflake card that I did using gold embossing powder. And I used a little black dot in the center of each snowflake. And I did that on the prickly pear. And then I embossed the greeting in the Gina K Designs fine detail gold at the bottom, just like I did up here with the snowflakes at the top. And then I used some of the white ribbon, the thermal web white gold lined ribbon, the fancy ribbon, and added that to some black layers and onto a white card base. So that's another card idea using these beautiful snowflakes. Now I want to show you a couple cards that I made with Fruit of the Season. I love this one. This one I used the music background and I'll show you how to do this kind of pattern paper. It's, I actually just used copy paper and I can't wait to make a video on this and show you. And then I colored these with Copic markers and popped them on with some foam squares. So that is a fun card coming up in one of my videos soon using the Fruit of the Season stamp set. And I also made another card using the Fruit of the Season stamp set that I'm going to show you to, tonight. This one I love. I'm going to show you how to do this two-step coloring stamping with um, using ink cubes. And I love this one. Love is a fruit in season at all times and within reach of every hand. And all of the beautiful apples popped up here on the oval. And then I did my signature bow using the Thermo Web black checked ribbon. Gingham ribbon, I think we call it. So those are a few cards using the new Fruit of the Season Stamp TV kit and my card project from tonight. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's Stamp TV video and release party presentation. All of the products are now available at GinaKDesigns.com and stay tuned to Stamp TV for tons of inspiration and videos featuring the brand new Fruit of the Season Stamp TV kit. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.